can't find nothing on the radio. Ready, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Welcome to Songology. He's Bruce. He's Richard. And this is another episode from our Song of the Day archives. Enjoy. And welcome back, Bruce. It's Friday. We're wrapping up a week with the Irish. How are we going to do it? Have you ever heard the term Black Irish? Not that I can think of. Long pause from Richard. You're not familiar with, with the, the idea of the Black Irish? No. It's a long-standing term that has floated around to describe Irish people who have dark hair and sometimes a little bit of a darker complexion, and usually almost always dark eyes as well. Traditionally, the Irish are thought of as oh, redheads and blue eyes, that sort of thing. That, and the uh, the pale, pale or freckled complexion, that sort of thing. Yeah, That's yeah. what people think of when they think of Irish. But there are many darker people in Ireland. And there is this term that floats around. It has floated around for centuries, the black Irish. Now, the traditional sort of romantic explanation for the term is that these people are descendants of the Spanish sailors who were wrecked off the west coast of Ireland after the Spanish Armada, right? All right. You remember that? Yep, yep. Right, so well, I don't. I wasn't remember. there, but well, you weren't there. Yes. Yeah, uh, yes, uh, yes. But I do know of these. Maybe, maybe you could get Sinead O'Connor because she's a medium. Says she is anyway. Maybe she could find out. Maybe you were there in a previous life. How do you Indeed. know? Indeed, yes. I have no idea. So, so they're come barreling up the English Channel because they're going to go pick up their army and invade England. It doesn't work out so well for them. And they end up, for some reason, instead of going back, they decide to go all the way around the northern end of Scotland and then down the, the west coast of Ireland to go home. And that didn't work out for them very well because they end up, most of the ships getting wrecked in storms and stuff. So the Spanish Armada, what the English didn't finish off in the Channel, the Mother Nature did on the west coast of Ireland. Um, and the Spanish sailors ended up stranded in Ireland. Yeah, many of them. And so the traditional, say, more romantic explanation for the term Black Irish has always been that. And that's what I've always heard. But I had occasion to look into this and I discovered that actually people with dark skin and dark eyes, dark hair, go back much, much further in Ireland than that. And probably it goes back to the Vikings. Oh, because the Vikings were really big in Ireland doing their Viking thing, right? I mean, they came in and raided and took over a big chunk of Ireland for a while until about 1014. They got mostly booted out at that stage. But in fact, the name Doyle in Irish literally means dark foreigner. Oh. And the name Gallagher translates as foreign help, but specifically dark foreign help. <laughs> so... There you go. I mean, this, yeah. this the whole black Irish thing goes back a lot longer than the Spanish Armada. But actually, or at least the, the dark people, the term itself actually probably near as the Internet can figure anyway. And because it's on the Internet, it must be true. Right. 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 Indeed. Exactly. <laughs> the theory, at least, and well, it's a credible theory, is that it because the term actually the black Irish term really only occurs amongst Irish emigrants, that is to say, you don't hear that term in Ireland. Oh, okay. They don't use it. And so the theory is that that is actually a reference to the people who left Ireland because of the potato famine. Ah, oh, okay. And uh, the potato famine, right, between 1845 and 1849, a fungus infected the potato crops. And, and potatoes were a huge food staple in Ireland. Yes were poor, right? They grew potatoes. And in fact, the worst of those years of the potato famine was referred to as Black 47. And so, hence, the theory is that people who came from Ireland because of that and who were poor and so forth and ended up living in shanty towns and being discriminated against and such were sometimes referred to as the Black Irish. Hmm. So now why do you suppose I... Well, here, before you even go on from that, I'll add on a little bit. I had the occasion to read a collection of the Baltimore newspaper from issue one, number one, which was several hundred years ago. And one of the articles at one point was talking about the taxation rate. Now, at the time, taxes weren't paid in cash. They were paid by bale of tobacco. Okay. And landowners, part of their 
tax, the assessment, was how many Africans did they have in their service? Uh-huh. And that meant uh, slaves. Slaves, yeah. And I think it was a bail per slave on that one. Ooh. And how many Irish did they have? And the tax on Irish was two bales of tobacco. <laughs> Because it was deemed that the Irish caused a whole lot more problems than the Africans. So that's, well, they may have you know, been. look, that's before the potato famine even, but uh, a little bit of their impact on uh, the Western North American development. Well, they do have a, a reputation of being somewhat scrappy, the Irish. Yes. So Notre Dame fighting Irish and all that. Mm-hmm. So but why I was on about the black Irish, strangely enough, was because if anybody could claim to be black Irish, I suppose, it would be Phil Lynott of Thin Lizzy. Okay. Now, you remember Thin Lizzy? Barely. Barely. <laughs> like, I know the name, not a problem, but can I name a song? Well, as most bands, no. There you go. Well, see, this is what you have me around for. You may remember Phil Lynott again, uh, hearkening back to you ran the War of the Worlds last. Yes. Fall at Halloween. Phil Lynott uh, appeared in that production as Parson Nathaniel. Oh, all okay. right. But he, Phil Lynott, was the lead singer of the band, uh, the Irish band, Thin Lizzy. Oh, okay. And the reason why I think that, okay, well, if anybody's black Irish, it would be Phil Lynott, is it because actually Phil Lynott's dad was a black guy from Brazil. So there you are. Uh, He was actually born in near Birmingham in England, but was a proud Irishman and formed the band in Ireland. He grew up in in Ireland, formed there. There's actually a statue of Phil Lynott in Dublin. Oh, Uh, they put it up in 2005. Uh, If you're going to Ireland, you have to go to Grafton Street. It's somewhere off of Grafton Street in uh, in Dublin. And the band Thin Lizzy is kind of a, a play on Tin Lizzy, right? Which yeah. was either. Now, do you remember what a Tin Lizzy is? Of course nope. you do. You don't? That's the nickname for the Model T Ford. Ah. Or there was also a character in, in um, old British comics. They had a comic series called The Dandy. Right. And there was a character in Dandy Comics called Tin Lizzy. Uh, So this is a bit of a play uh, on that. And of course, if you're thinking about Thin Lizzy, their biggest hit, their most famous song, and a song that I really considered when we sort of came back to do Song of the Day after being away for a while. The boys are back in town. Oh, yeah. Right? It was inspired by their fans. They had been playing around in lots of different gigs and building themselves a fan base. They noticed that their shows were full of basically working class guys looking to get out, have some fun. But unfortunately, who also had a tendency to drink a lot and get into fights and things, which is reflected in the song. There's a line in the song at one stage, if the boys want to fight, you better let them. <laughs> And they were, I mean, Thin Lizzy had been popular in Ireland prior to this song, but this was the song that broke them worldwide, gave them worldwide exposure. It was their only top 40 hit in the U.S. They had several other hits over on the other side of the pond. So, the boys are back in town. And as usual, I have to stop it right there due to the fair use rules on YouTube. If you haven't already, please subscribe. You can check us out on Facebook or head over to our website, which is songology.ca. Now, here's your chance to listen to the music or go on to the next episode.